Hello and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac and of course the continued adventures of Lazarus. Lazarus has recently gone through puberty. He has some form of fear eyes. He's crying profusely due to I think some form of turnip. He has a small purse of his mother's and we can reroll enemies. Yeah, it's a really weird situation. I'm really confused about it too. We're gonna go through here and pick up whatever we can from here. These aren't both gonna be bombs, are they? I hate you so much. So much hatred there. We just wasted an entire heart for literally nothing. I don't know, oh my word. Do these actually just immediately fear enemies? No, it doesn't immediately fear enemies. It appears that there's a chance to fear enemies. That is still pretty good. I do like a chance to fear enemies. So that should be pretty useful, because as we've learned in the past from the ghost baby that we got, I don't know, what was that, a couple runs ago? Fearing enemies is maybe one of the most powerful things that you can do in the game, because it literally makes them stop trying to kill you, which I don't know if you've noticed, but if enemies don't try to kill you, you're generally significantly less likely to die which is kind of nice. I don't like dying. I'm not sure many people like dying. I'm sure that there's a few out there. I don't talk to them because they're probably slightly odd. But um, for the most part, people are not terribly happy about dying. Let's check what's over here. Oh my word, what is that? Why is he red? Is he gonna explode? Pretty sure he's gonna explode. That's gonna be a thing. Ow. Oh, well, okay. We just cleared out the entire room with a black heart of death. I like black hearts of death. They're quite useful. I wonder what happens when you fear one of these guys. Are they just incapable of being feared? That might be a thing. Come on, get out of here. I need your succulent flesh. I don't actually need your succulent flesh. I need you to show your succulent flesh so that I can kill you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ooh, it's a tiny golden chest. Oh, with a flatworm. Oh, that's nice. Now we've got expanded uh, shots, which is pretty good. That does help aiming quite a bit. Well, actually, it doesn't help aiming at all, but it helps hitting things, which is basically half of aiming. It's actually not. It's the goal of aiming. Look, these are all technicalities. I will continue to harp on about technicalities forever, but I feel like nobody cares. So there is that small thing. Of all the technicalities of speech, these guys are crazy. Get out of my face, boy! Get out of my... Okay, re... Oh, I just died. I just died. Reroll! Yes! There we go. Uh, I was gonna do that just a second ago, but I didn't click the button quite fast enough. We have officially re-rolled every enemy in the room. Lazarus has also officially died, which is kind of unfortunate. He has one heart. And a dry baby, who's apparently his immortal friend. I have no clue what that means pretty sure it's gonna be terrible. It is the Binding of Isaac, after all, that is how things go. Oh my word, get out of here. So we're gonna take down these bugs. Ooh, did we just blow open a door? Is that a thing you can do in this game? I thought we were permanently trapped in these rooms. I didn't even consider blowing open the door. Huh, well, there you go. That appears to be another use for a bomb, is to get the heck out of, out of dodge ASAP. Assuming that that actually works with bombs. I mean, that is an assumption there. It is not actually something that I know for certain. Oh no, not this room. I don't like this room. I really want all that cash monies, but I can't get any of it. We also only have half of a heart remaining before we are absolutely dead. I'm feeling like that's not a good situation. Ugh. Guys, guys, I'm just gonna tell you, this has not gone well so far. This has not gone well at all. We are totally dead. We might even die before fighting the boss in this place. Is this gonna be, is that gonna be a secret door? It's not, oh, that's so boring. You know, I really wanna see more secret doors out here. I just don't know at all how to actually identify them. Oh, hello, Envy. Are you gonna kill me instead of the boss? I appreciate that. What's he doing? He's not doing anything. He's just kind of floating around. Oh, I see, okay. That's a bit more significant. I kind of figured it wouldn't be as simple <clears throat> as him just floating around everywhere. 
Yeah, no, he's, he's turned into a million heads. I mean, I say a million heads, it's actually not that many heads. Although that's mostly because we've been dealing with it pretty well. Come on. Give it up, Envy. You haven't hit me once. I know that because I'm not currently dead. Is that it? Just a key? That's the worst. Well, I think we're gonna have to take a trip to the uh, shop to see if there's any possibility that they're selling a heart there. Apparently this door is locked for some reason. I don't know why those... Half the time those doors are just locked. It's kind of weird. <sighs> it doesn't look like they're selling any form of health, but they are selling a pill. So I guess I'll buy that. What is it? Oh, full health! That's nice. Thank you, my friend. I highly appreciate that. I'm gonna go get killed by a boss. I, I don't think the shopkeep actually cares if we're gonna get killed by a boss, but... It's almost certainly going to occur. Just saying. It's a small thing. Gertie Jr. Who is Gertie Jr.? Oh, this is Gertie Jr. We fought this guy before. I don't recall him being ter- Ah, terribly dangerous. Although apparently he is because he immediately did some serious damage to us. It's just a small thing. Oh my word, we got him. We got him. Oh uh, yeah, get wrecked, Gertie Jr. Thinking you're so cool. What'd you drop? HP tears up, shot speed down. Oh my word, look at that. That was actually a very significant upgrade. That was nice. And we got another heart, so we're no longer complete scrub nubs with only a single heart. That is brilliant. Good job, Lazarus. You're doing a good job. Somehow we managed to survive that level despite being so incredibly weak for the majority of it. Aw, oh, yeah. Caves 2. Um... Well, for now, that'll bring us to the end of this episode. Somehow, Lazarus managed to survive what was a pretty terrible ordeal. Hopefully, we can find something at all useful in this area. We're not going to go through that door, by the way. Unless we get, like, a temporary heart of some sort. I'm going to avoid that door vehemently. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.